A Boolean expression returns or displays the Boolean value, true or false. For example, if I type in the Boolean expression equals a2 greater than b2, the Boolean value displayed will be false because 22 is not greater than 44. If I copy this formula down, it will change to equals a3 greater than b3, which will display the Boolean value true because 44 is greater than 22. Boolean functions also display or return the Boolean value true or false. In this class, we will learn the AND Boolean function, the OR Boolean function, and the NOT Boolean function. The AND function returns a true Boolean value if all arguments evaluate to true. Syntax equals AND logical 1, comma logical 2, comma ellipsis. The logical 2 argument is not required. However, if you only have one argument in the AND function, you should use a relational expression. For example, because the expression in cell C2 already evaluates to a Boolean value true or false, you do not need to use a function. The OR function returns a true if at least one argument evaluates to true. Syntax equals OR logical 1 comma logical 2, comma ellipsis. Just as the AND function, the logical 2 argument is optional, but if you are using only one argument in the function, then you should use a relational expression. The NOT function changes a false to a true and a true to a false. It only has one argument. Let's take a look at some examples of the AND function. In cell D2, we're going to write the following function equals AND A2 greater than 50, comma, B2 greater than 50, comma, C2 greater than 50. All of the arguments have to evaluate to true in order for a true Boolean value to display in the cell. This function evaluates to false because 22 and 44 are not greater than 50. Let's write a function in cell D3 equals and a3 greater than 20, b3 greater than 20, and c3 greater than 20. Because all of the arguments evaluate to true, meaning cell A3, B3, and C3 are greater than 20, the cell will display the Boolean value true. In cell D4, let's type in the function equals and A4 to C4. Notice we can use a range because the cells already contain the values true or false in them. If you are testing cells that do not have the values true and false, you must check each cell individually. Basically, when you're using a range, it is the same as typing in the formula equals and a4 equals true, comma b4 equals true, comma c4 equals true. However, the true is redundant, so do not put the equal true in your function you will receive points off because it's incorrect. Likewise, you really don't want to put quotes around the words true and false because true and false are special values to the computer. They're considered Boolean values, so you don't put quotes around them. Notice cell B4 contains the Boolean value false. Therefore, in D4, the function will evaluate to false. If we copy the function down, Now we're checking A5 to C5, and all of those cells have the Boolean value true. Therefore, the function will evaluate to true. As already stated, 
The OR function evaluates to true if at least one argument evaluates to true. Equals OR A2 greater than 50, comma, B2 greater than 50, comma, C2 greater than 50. Because C2 is greater than 50, a true will display in cell D2. Let's copy this formula down and change the 50 to a 60. This evaluates to false because there are no cells that are greater than 60. In cell D4, we're going to write the following function equals or the range A4 to C4 because we have at least one true value the function will return a true or display a true in cell D4. I will copy this down and now notice cell D5 contains a false because all the cells have the value false. The NOT function changes a false to a true and a true to a false. Equals NOT C2 Because the value in cell C2 has a false, not false is true. We will copy this down. And because the value in C3 is true, the value in D3 will be false. 